Chris Stapleton has redefined the sound of country music, and his wife, Morgan, deserves a lot of credit for that. While Morgan might be better known as Chris's better half, Chris didn't sound too sure about her at first during a video interview in Paste magazine. It's shocking how Chris described Morgan. Chris said, well, she's a stalker. Of course, Chris was joking, and Morgan joked about it too during the interview with Paste. She admitted, I kind of did stalk him a little bit. Morgan said that she was friends with a woman who worked with Chris, and she would go hang out in the friend's office with the hopes of running into Chris at work. Chris and Morgan both started their careers in Nashville working as songwriters. Morgan enjoyed a pretty successful songwriting career working at Arista in Nashville. She's credited with co-writing songs for Trisha Yearwood, Kelly Pickler, Leanne Rimes, and Carrie Underwood. Although they didn't work for the same music publisher, Morgan and Chris worked in the same building in Music City. Morgan was interviewed by the Washington Post about how she met Chris. And while she absolutely was not a stalker, she revealed that she did have a crush on Chris. She even knew the sound he made when he was in the building at the same time she was. This sound had nothing to do with music. Morgan told the Post that she knew Chris was around because she heard his keys jingling in his pocket. Then, one day, Morgan said that Chris asked her to write a song with him. That didn't end up happening. As Morgan revealed, the songwriting session with Chris was actually their first date because Chris asked Morgan to write a song with him at 6 p.m. on a Friday. As Morgan told the Post, we didn't get much writing done that night. Morgan and Chris have been together since 2003 and they've been happily married since 2007. Chris has a funny nickname for Morgan. In an interview with Rare Country, Chris called Morgan his Jiminy Cricket in a lot of ways. Thankfully, Chris explained what he meant by that. He said that Morgan is his voice of reason because, as Chris describes himself, he's not always reasonable. Chris also threw some shade at himself when he said he can get lazy on keys sometimes. He'll often write melodies in a lower key, so it's easier to perform live. But sometimes when the song is right, Morgan will tell Chris to do things differently, like singing in a higher key. Chris said that Morgan won't let him get lazy on stuff like that. He likes it when Morgan gives him positive criticism, and Chris has said that Morgan knows him better than anyone. Morgan and Chris celebrated their 16th wedding anniversary on October 27th. They have five kids. Their oldest son is Waylon. Their daughter is Ada. And Morgan gave birth to twin boys, Macon and Samuel, in 2018. Morgan's youngest son was born in 2019, but mysteriously, the Stapletons have kept that little boy's name a secret. Morgan revealed the baby's birth on social media on Mother's Day in 2019. And while we occasionally see pictures of their two older children, Chris and Morgan prefer to keep their children out of the spotlight as much as possible. Although the birth of their twin boys was big news at the 53rd Academy of Country Music Award, because Morgan delivered the babies a month early. Reba McIntyre announced the birth of Morgan's twins to the audience and everyone watching the ACMs at home. Reba said those little rascals came a little bit early, and she confirmed that Morgan and Chris were with their newborns at home. Morgan celebrated the early arrival with a beautiful photo upload to social media. Morgan has a lot of personal experience with childbirth, but did you know that she helps other women during childbirth as well? Morgan is a practicing doula. It's an age-old profession similar to midwife. If you saw Chris performing at the ACM Awards in April 2021, you may have noticed that Miranda Lambert subbed for Morgan on Maggie's song. Some fans wondered where Morgan was that night, and Chris shocked the press room at the ACM Awards when he revealed the real truth. Chris told reporters that Morgan was on baby watch. His sister-in-law was in labor, and Morgan was the doula for the birth. So that's one of Morgan's passions outside of songwriting and singing backup vocals for Chris. Morgan has also explained why she prefers to be a background singer. She definitely tried to make a name for herself in Nashville, Morgan did demo work on songs, and she recorded three albums of her own material. She even toured with Leanne Womack as an opening act. Shockingly, Morgan discovered the real truth about herself. She found out that she didn't want to be in the spotlight. Morgan even admitted that she broke out in hives once before a live solo performance. She explained, I have an aversion for the spotlight. It's not for everybody. Although, Morgan's fear of performing improved as Chris became more successful, and they've developed a strong musical partnership that works for both of them. Morgan often appears to sing harmonies with Chris on tour and during award show performances. Sometimes Morgan even helps to clean Chris up a bit before they sing. Before one song, she even fixed his hair. While Chris has made it clear that he's so much better with Morgan, she told the New York Times that Chris gave her a boost and let her know without saying a word that she could do it too. Morgan now knows she can perform in the spotlight because Chris is right by her side. It's a special formula, and Chris shares every award he wins with Morgan, most notably 10 CMA awards and 5 Grammy awards. Morgan also sung duets with other legendary country singers. She recorded a very special performance of Look At Us with the legendary John Prine. It was a super special moment for Morgan that's unforgettable, especially since John tragically passed away from COVID in 2020. Another tragic moment in Chris and Morgan's life changed things forever. Chris released his first song in 2013, but shortly after, his father passed away. While he tried to hide his grief, Morgan realized just how much pain Chris was in before anyone else did. So Morgan made an unbelievable suggestion. She suggested they take a cross-country road trip so that Chris could get away and heal. Morgan even bought a 1979 Jeep Cherokee over the internet. She told Chris they were flying to Phoenix to pick up the Jeep so they could take a road trip and drive the Jeep back to Nashville. Although, shockingly, they knew the Jeep was a clunker when they saw it in person, but Morgan and Chris took it as a challenge. They even thought it was funny. Morgan told the Tennessean that she and Chris looked at each other and thought, yeah, we're finally doing this. At that moment, the gas started spraying 
spraying everywhere in the Jeep. Morgan can laugh about these moments now because that was the beginning of Chris's mega star rise in country music. She's always been there, and hopefully she always will be, as Chris's wife, best friend, mother of his kids, and his musical, Jiminy Cricket.